Jamal Edwards died penniless according to probate office figures, despite some claims his net worth was a staggering £335 million. The music mogul, who helped launch the careers of Ed Sheeran and Stormzy passed away in February at the age of just 31. An inquest into his death concluded six months later that he died as a result of cardiac arrhythmia caused by taking cocaine and drinking alcohol. Various conflicting reports stated the star, who was awarded an MBE for services to the music industry in 2015, was worth between £8 million and £335 million. However, official documents reported in Mail Online show he left a gross estate of just £45,502. 76, which after paying debts left him with zero. Jamal, who founded his own online music platform SBTV in 2006, signed his will two years before his death. He had promised his entire estate to his family, including mother and loose women star Brenda Edwards, which was due to be distributed by a trust fund he had established. Now, however, those listed beneficiaries will receive nothing. On the morning of his death the star had returned to his London home sometime after 4am after playing a DJ set in North London, before he sat up drinking with a pal. Nick Hopper. After a while he became erratic and paranoid and began throwing objects around the room before collapsing, the inquest was told. Mr. Hopper said in a statement read to the inquest by the coroner, when he came in he appeared to be his normal self and it appeared that he had just been out. We began to chat, smoke some weed and drink. He told me he was under a lot of pressure. There were periods of talking followed by silences. Over time Jamal became quite paranoid and was saying I had things in my hands when I didn't. Anytime I moved he began panicking. I told him to calm down, but he became increasingly irate. He was grabbing things throwing them around the room. He was panicking and sweating, I spent ages trying to get him to open the door. Mr. Hopper said that he kept trying to open a window, but Mr. Edwards wouldn't let him and he eventually collapsed unconscious by the bathroom door. After 9.30 a.m. Mr. Edwards' uncle arrived and he said he performed CPR for about 10 minutes until paramedics arrived and took over, but they were unable to resuscitate him. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebs at mirror. Co.uk or call us direct 0207 29